Greetings adventurers and welcome back to Abnormal Voyages. My name is David and today we find ourselves in Orlando, Florida. We're here at the world's largest entertainment McDonald's. They have not only some really cool things inside, but even some specialty food items that you're not going to find at any other McDonald's. Come tag along. When you first walk in, it may be a little overwhelming, but they still have the distinct colors and decorations that remind you this is most certainly a McDonald's. You may get a little thrown off though by the massive kitchen as you enter. This is where they make a lot of specialty products, including pasta dishes. There are some fishy friends to watch you eat your delicious french fries, but there's also some classic friends here. You'll find plenty of iterations of Grimace, the Hamburglar, and all of Ronald McDonald's dear, dear friends. This wall art was very cool. It kind of shows the old classic logos that McDonald's has used throughout the ages, different products, different favorites, all up here for you to enjoy. And of course, they're colored just like orange juice. Now it's pretty cool down here, but there's even more fun upstairs. One thing you never forget while you're here is that you're in Florida. They do a great job of putting favorites from all over around the play place, such as the astronaut you saw, this snappy alligator here, and even a fierce shark patrolling the skies. All of that culminates in a very postcard-esque portrait saying greetings from Orlando. You find play places and plenty of McDonald's, but how many have a full-size arcade? That's right, this place certainly lives up to its reputation as an entertainment McDonald's by giving you a full arcade full of games. And while you're playing, you can look up to see Ronald McDonald himself swimming around down below the waves. And, like any good arcade, after you've played your fill, you can take all your tickets and run over to the redemption counter. This is where they'll let you turn those tickets in to get some fabulous prizes. How many people get souvenirs from a McDonald's? And then, in a little bit of a blast from the past, this has become the home of Mac Tonight, who you may remember for some old commercials. Welcome to my favorite place right here in my favorite town. It's me, Mac Tonight, and I'm ready to roll. Mac has always been one of my favorite mascots, so who knows, maybe he'll get a big comeback. But besides all the awesome decorations and entertainment, we know it's really all about the food. Being a rarer item, couldn't miss out on the chance to get a McPizza. So here we go, nice, hot and fresh. This one's just a cheese pizza, but if you want, you can go crazy and add whatever toppings you please. So, taking a slice of the cheese here, let's give it a try. Pretty good pizza, I've definitely had worse. I think more McDonald's should start serving this. Thank you so much. 
And for dessert, this is one McDonald's you're never gonna have to worry about the ice cream machine not working. There is a full ice cream counter with lots of different flavors, so no matter which one is your favorite, you can get yourself a nice cold treat. Though if you're not in the mood for ice cream, you can also take home a couple different slices of cake or pie. Well, that about wraps it up for today, adventurers. Thanks for tagging along. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and comment where you think you'd like to see us go next. All of it really helps us out. And if you're interested in supporting us more and getting some bonus episodes, plus an awesome postcard from somewhere that we've traveled to every single month, you can check out our Patreon, which will also be linked below. My name is David, and this has been Abnormal Voyages. See you next time.